Thank you, Madam President, for giving me the opportunity to take the floor, and thank you also to Madam Wasumu for her briefing. Madam President, the European Union is following with great concern the serious humanitarian situation affecting the local population, the former Nagorno-Karabakh Autonomous Oblast. Movement through the Lachin Corridor has been obstructed for more than eight months, despite orders by the International Court of Justice to reopen it. Since 15 of June, there's been a blockage of the Lachin Corridor with the exception of occasional medical evacuations. Medical supplies and essential goods are reportedly in critically short supply, or have already run out, with dire consequences for local population. The EU deplores that the ICRC activities in the region have been heavily impacted and calls for their full resumption, including medical evacuations and humanitarian supplies. Humanitarian access must not be politicized by any actors. Movement through the Latin Corridor must be reopened immediately. Based on the November 2020 trilateral statement and the February 2023 ICJ order, the Azerbaijani authorities bear the responsibility to guarantee safety and freedom of movement along the Latin Corridor and to ensure the crisis does not escalate further. We have taken note of the express readiness of the Azerbaijani authorities to also supply goods via the city of Agdam. This should, however, not be seen as an alternative to the reopening of the Latin Corridor. The population on the ground needs reassurances, first and foremost, regarding their rights and security. The EU reiterates its call for direct dialogue between Baku and the Karabakh Armenians. This dialogue should build much needed confidence for all those involved. The EU has also been following the growing tensions between Azerbaijan and Armenia over the past month along their international border, with shooting incidents reported almost on a daily basis. The EU monitoring mission in Armenia is conducting patrols along the Armenian side of the international border with Azerbaijan to observe and report on the situation. The objective of the mission is to contribute to conflict resolution and build confidence between Armenia and Azerbaijan. We call on all sides to avoid, to avoid further incidents and return to dialogue. The European Union, and in particular, President of the European Council, Charles Michel, have been heavily engaged in supporting the normalization process between Armenia and Azerbaijan since the end of 2021. At the last trilateral meeting hosted by President Charles Michel with President Aliyev of Azerbaijan and Prime Minister Pashinyan of Armenia on the 15th of July, 2023, the leaders of the two countries reiterated their strong commitment to the peace process. They notably reconfirmed their full respect of the other countries' territorial integrity and sovereignty, and their unequivocal commitment to the 1991 Almaty Declaration as a political framework for the delimitation. As a matter of priority, violence, harsh rhetoric, and the spreading of this information should stop in order to provide a conducive environment for peace and normalization talks. A return to dialogue in good faith remains as urgent as ever. This requires the genuine commitment of all sides to negotiated outcomes and a future built on common interests and mutual trust. Unfortunately, the current deteriorating humanitarian situation of the Karabakh Armenians is harming this process. Humanitarian issues need to be resolved and concrete steps should urgently be taken to build trust. The European Union remains fully committed to facilitating dialogue between both sides in order to ensure long-lasting peace for the benefit of all people in the region. I thank you.